Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we are currently thinking that we may have run into another civilization down to our south, somewhere over here. We'll see if that ends up being the case. I'm not entirely sure if we want it to be the case or not. It's uh, kind of... It, it, it kind of just is, if it's the case, right? Like, it's neither good nor bad. We've got two months remaining on our gene clinics. Let's wait on that to be able to build gene clinics into this building slot on our colony. I feel like that'll be a good idea. A system has been charted. We're going to continue to head down this way, of course. See what we can find over here. We would like to figure out what our final borders are going to look like. But the more that we can grab before then, the better. So that would be fine if we found out that they're, you know, way down here or something. No problems whatsoever there. So there's our gene clinics. We are going to go ahead and... Hmm. Farming subsidies, I think. That'll do. We'll get our gene clinics building in on our colony. Every single colony wants to have a gene clinic after all. Wait, did we actually research this? I'm not sure we intended to do that. Our initial scans have caught an irregular signal reminiscent of our own distress patterns. Well, we'll look into that. I'm sure that won't be a problem if we delay that a few years. <laughs> the very geological structure of Piamit 4A is indeed in flux, driven by what Science Officer Awkward assures us. Is that Science Officer Awkward? This is like Kilatart. I'm not sure that's awkward. Assures us is a tectonic process as fascinating as it is esoteric. What is of more interest to the Democratic Association of the Majority of the Pictlings is that we may be able to strategically halt the planet's ceaseless, chaotic self-transformation. In short, a near-instant stabilization of the planet into something slightly, if not entirely, more habitable is theoretically possible. Kiletart estimates that an additional 200 energy credits will be needed to power a thorough mapping of planetary activity and determine the validity of what the science officer has termed a surgical terraforming strike. Actual terraforming lies beyond our grasp at present, so this is an exciting opportunity. Indeed, let's see what happens. It failed. Okay. The crew of the damp underworld sovereign are disappointed to report that the window of opportunity for terraforming Hiamit 4A has closed, despite their best efforts to identify it in time. Another opportunity is unlikely to arise for another few centuries. Sad. Okay, so this construction ship should definitely be constructing out here, but we are lacking in influence to make that happen, and that's because we are heading out over this direction. We've discovered the presence of a primitive alien civilization on Hemtaris III in the Hemtaris system. They're presently in what could be considered a late medieval age, with a firm grasp of metallurgy in a feudal society. The printing press is accelerating the spread of knowledge. We should consider building an observation post above their world to study them more closely. Indeed we should. We'll see if we manage to get that within our borders. That may or may not happen. Space charts updated. Excellent. So we're going to continue to head up this way. Space we would love updated. to grab this system. But a lot of these are going to be some pretty interesting grabs, in all honesty. Because they're a long ways out there. It's a lot of territory to take. With our current levels of influence, yikes. Okay. So we're going to fight these drones. We do expect to win against them. We did refit these, didn't we? Yes. Yes, we did. We did refit these, so we do expect to win. Fleet engaged. Give them a broadside. Our lookouts have detected There appears anomaly. to be deliberately crafted structures on the planet's surface, pointing to a past long forgotten. If I don't have to sneeze in the middle of that, that would be great, but apparently I did. <laughs> okay, so we're definitely losing numbers here. So are they, though. This is definitely a little spicier than I would like to see. We're probably going to have to come back for this one.
These guys have some thick armor. That's that's rough. Okay, we're gonna retreat. And that is fine. We'll come back and finish those off. No big deal. So our construction ship over here needs to, of course, build a star base, and our construction ship over here needs to build mining stations. 20 minerals in the Biasta system. That's a lot of minerals. Our science ship is done up over here. We do see another gateway. That's fantastic. And we have this going on. Initial readings of the Kappa Menace signals left Envoy Eshtart bewildered. They seem to be mainly white noise, devoid of anything which could be recognized as language. For a time, there were even doubts as to whether we were dealing with the utterings of an intelligent species, despite the visual evidence of their use of technology. It was only when our researchers experimented with tuning our instruments to detect sounds well outside the normal range of frequencies of our autoliths. I'm not sure what an autolith is. I need to look up that word. Okay, what is an autolith? Define autolith. Hmm. A calcareous concretion in the inner ear of a vertebrate or in the autocyst of an invertebrate. Okay, so it's basically like an ear. Sounds good. <laughs> that patterns indicative of a language were detected. Unfortunately, this poses considerable challenges for our quest to come to understand them, since we'll not be able to hear them at all without assistance. Surely some extra funding will help, that's fine. Okay, so we now know that they are isolationist, and that they are kind of buggy. Okay, sounds good. I mean, we being xenophobic, we can definitely get behind them being isolationist. We've made first contact with mysterious aliens in the Holden system. For now, we've codenamed them the New Menace until we can find out more about them. Indeed. Let's go ahead and get that started. We don't actually see anything over here as well. Okay. Interesting. So we're going to proceed over this direction and over this direction. Excellent. This science ship over here, of course, it can go either way here. For now, let's go out over this direction. It doesn't really matter, I think, either way. We're probably going to run into a boundary over here. Ah, additional aliens in the Derip system. The She Menace until we can find out more about them. Unfortunately, we don't have an envoy to throw at that. We grow ever so for now, we'll have to hold off on that for the moment. Tatanga can build some mining stations. We do need to finish up some of these communication establishments, though, to get ourselves some influence gains. That would be very nice indeed. But yeah, we've, we've definitely got some uh, potential issues brewing here with borders. We need to make our way up at least to here. Intellectual boot. So that will be our, uh, that'll be our goal. Improved deflectors have finished up. Not like that's useful right now. <laughs> Research station output, however, that is useful. When are our ships going to return? In about eight months. Here. Sounds good. Scanners indicate the sandy dunes of Hiamet B2A are almost entirely composed of granulate rare metals. Perhaps some valuable resources could be extracted from them. We'll leave that be for now. Naturally, as we tend to do. We do know that we're going to need to start constructing additional corvettes immediately. So we're going to queue up nine. Nine corvettes. We grow ever stronger. These guys are going to move into Vizimar. And we're just going to continue pushing down over this direction with our surveys. Okay, things are going to get interesting for sure once we know what our borders are going to look like. Then we enter full land grab mode. So we're going to continue to push by over here. We'll push by the Darep system. And where do we actually see our first contacts? That's in here. Gotcha. We don't have an envoy to assign to this. So we're hoping that these will be finished up fairly soon. Breakthrough chances are somewhat low at the present moment. It's not shocking. 
But we know that we're going to need an additional two Corvettes, and we'll go ahead and queue that up. That should be all of our Corvettes. And we're not expecting them to be done by the time our other ships come back, but this will be okay. Our sensors have detected a particularly clear repeating signal from the new menace that seems to offer our linguist linguists excellent material for codifying their language. They're optimistic that we'll be able to make some significant progress on the back of this stroke of luck. Okay, so we get two insights on that. Cool. Looks suspiciously like bird folks. As fish, we're not fans of birds, Space necessarily. So that's definitely something to consider. Okay, so this is the new menace here. Yeah. That looks distinctly like a science ship. Okay. And it's going down over this way. Okay. Like I said, we may want to redirect some of these to a different location once we know what our actual competition is going to look like. The inquiry into the unidentified spacecraft that was observed in the Holden system continues, but insufficient data has been collected to make an informed hypothesis as to the exact origin of the vessel. Since we are likely dealing with a representative of a previously unknown alien civilization, efforts should be made to intercept their communications and begin a comprehensive analysis of their language. Indeed. Indeed they should. So we need, at this point, one more alloy to build the starbase up here. And that's what we're waiting on. There we go. There's our alloy, and these guys, they're going to move to Gathrica as soon as they are done. Of course, we can't queue up a starbase up there due to a lack of influence. Influence is going to be our limiting Space factor, and that's why we're being so judicious and basically building, like, a line of starbases. <laughs> that is uh, the exact reason for that. We're going to combine these together, and these guys definitely do need to be repairing. And are they? Yes, they are repairing. Perfect. This science ship is going to push down over this way. Excellent. So we have four additional Corvettes building, and here we go. The Kappa Menace have been decoded. Although it proved a considerable challenge, we have managed to decode the form of communication used by the Kappa Menace to sufficiently establish preliminary contact. It seems that they call themselves the Rontor Sect. Inevitably, communication can only happen with the help of communication systems specifically tuned to their language. This would appear to be problematic for hopes of fluent conversation with them, but our researchers see it differently. Buoyed by their success and still benefiting from the extra funding we provided them, they've drawn up a, a proposal to consolidate our learnings from this experience into something that will be of generally applicable use. They believe that by fine-tuning the software used here, they will be able to build what they're calling a universal translator, which, if provided with enough information, will be able to instantaneously suggest translations for phrases uttered in any given language. That is a big deal. We've never gotten the universal translator before. Cool. 48 influence for that. We are being contacted by aliens. Indeed we are. Dread Cardinal Kul Enul and the rest of the Religious Council bids you greetings. We provide spiritual guidance to the Rontor sect, and our stated goal is to lead this great nation on a path to salvation. Do not cross this path, and we may live in friendship. Well, we can see some problems right away with their planet. Like, look at how dusty this planet is. Wouldn't it be so much better if these islands were underwater? I feel like it would be. For now, though, we greet you as equals and friends. Cool. The news that we have encountered intelligent alien life for the first time has shaken our society to the core. Leaked footage of these bizarre creatures is spreading through media outlets across the Democratic Association of the Majority of the Pictlings, and many citizens have been gripped by panic. Rioting has been reported in several cities on Hearthsea. The strange Xenos appear to have achieved a level of technology similar to our own, and they're clearly spacefaring. Whether they regard our species with fear, hatred, or cold indifference is anyone's guess. 
We should assume the worst. Indeed we should. Where are they? We don't have enough intel to know where their capital is, I guess? Maybe. Well, let's hop over into our situation log and take a look at the She Menace. We, of course, need to get our envoy assigned there. We should also immediately begin work on the Universal Translator. Finishes in 57 months. Do it. Ah, there they are. Okay. We're going to build research stations here, and then we're going to build a mu an outpost in Estrion. If we can grab... Honestly, if we can grab our doked, that'd be amazing. I, I suspect we're not going to be able to. Even grabbing Coastlight would be a good border system for us. So we're going to head down there. That is a top priority for us right now. Okay, so we're going to continue to head up to Gathrica over here. We've successfully... Okay, the She Menace is definitely, definitely up here. So we need to continue pushing up this way. We're going to stop exploring this way because we know where the border is going to be. And we're going to head up this way instead. In fact, we should head over here instead. Okay. So that'll be fine. I'm not sure why this ship is currently missing, but okay, cool. Ah. Our explorers knew first contact to be a dangerous affair, but none could have predicted just how true this would be. In a violent assault, the new menace seized our vessel, landing a boarding party before emergency FTL could be engaged. Despite our crew's valiant efforts, the attackers, a necroid alien species, were able to overwhelm our defenses. Perhaps fortunately, both for them and the sake of keeping information from enemy hands, our crew took their own lives rather than permit themselves to be captured. However, we must assume that our assailants will soon find out much about us by studying our vessel, and that hostilities are inevitable when faced with such a civilization that would act in such a manner. They will be avenged. Okay, so we lost a science ship. Okay. That's fine. Well, not really fine, but <laughs> it's acceptable-ish. We know that there's going to be some enemies up here, and that is something to keep in mind. Data gathered in the Carathor system supports the hypothesis that it has been claimed by the political entity that we have designated as the She Menace. A central starbase orbits the primary and likely serves as an in-system communications and infrastructure hub. It appears to be the source of most of these transmissions we've intercepted in the system. An effort should be made to analyze these transmissions and translate their language. Indeed. We'd love to take Devasa. That's kind of the ideal. We also need to start working our way up this way, clearly. Okay, this construction ship really should be heading to Estrion. Go on and move. And we will continue to push down over this direction and see what we can find. We have run into the She Menace up here. But it's the new menace that we're worried about right now. So far, the She Menace seems to be fairly okay. So far. <laughs> but we've run into them here as well as here. Interesting. Ah. Pictlings! How delightful. We hadn't expected to encounter you for a few centuries yet. Personally, I thought you'd wipe yourselves out long before leaving your gravity well, but I'm glad to be proven wrong. So we found some enigmatic observers. Greetings to you and your odd kin. They care little for our diplomatic maneuvering. So where are they at? Ah, down over here. Okay. Okay. So that means that this way we don't need to rush. We need to head out this way then. Well, maybe. We're not sure if this is completely cut off over here yet. So we'll need to take a look at that. We will just go ahead and survey out over this way. But we know that the Valdari Ancients are down over here. And that is completely fine for right now. Now, we're, we're lacking a job on this rural world. And we are a little bit short on food. So let's go ahead and build an agriculture district. That will be fine. 
Our attempts to learn more about the new menace have so far been in vain. While we were easily able to ascertain that they clearly form part of a technologically advanced alien civilization, further facts have proven elusive, as they seem to be going to considerable effort to prevent us and any other eavesdroppers from intercepting any signals from them. We have therefore only managed to intercept small fragments of their language so far. However, from the glimpses we have gleaned, our linguists are confident they that they will be able to decipher their communications if we can just acquire a greater sample size. A proposal has been drawn up for a somewhat more aggressive information gathering, some may call it hacking, but they will surely not take kindly to it should they detect it. They blew up our science ship. We do have to find out their secrets. Okay, sounds good. So we proceed. We've still got this science ship missing. Doesn't return until a year from now. Okay. Interesting. And we definitely want to make our way down here, grab these three systems as soon as we can, if we can get our doked. But that's not... That, that would be like the icing on the cake, right? That would be the ideal system, but it's probably not going to be the one that we get. We're going to build our mining and research stations over here, and then we're going to move up to Yoman. We're not going to queue up our starbase up there just yet. We are going to queue up the starbase in Estrian. That is very important to us right now. So that is fine. We're also going to want to start heading out over this way, most likely. Grabbing what we can over here. The She Menace appear eager to establish a... Wow, words. Establish communications with us, having sent a large audio and visual transmission that appears to offer the key to translating their language. Our experts are confident that we'll be able to use this to learn to communicate with them soon. Of course, we'll have to trust them that their offered translations are not misleading, and that we'll be able to reliably interpret information presented from them from a surely vastly different experiential context. How naive of them. Okay, so we'll continue that. The drones are remarkably efficient at squeezing ever-diminishing returns from rocks Pictish miners would have soon discarded, deemed exhausted of all worthwhile mineral content. Our top engineers are working on adapting the drone's methodology for use in the Democratic Association of the majority of the Pictlings' mining networks and stations, which should improve efficiency, effectively lessening energy expenditure. Of lesser import is the fact that the drones are not completely silent, contrary to previous assumptions. They emit signal pings, though extremely infrequently, and at a wavelength hard to isolate from background noise. If there's anyone left to receive these pings, maybe a mystery for another time. So we're going to take that sweet, sweet mining station output. Excellent. And these guys are going to go up and kill the rest of the mining drones. Fantastic. Part C requires jobs and amenities. So, a city district, then. Okay, that'll do. Tadaska Prime is, of course, well underway. Okay, so we can see that it looks like this is not, in fact, a dead end for us. System has been charted. Good to know. And they close their borders to us. Okay, sounds good. So the science ship needs to continue to head down over this direction. Cool. Our construction ship is taking a while to head down here, but that's fine. Yeah, that seems to be reasonably okay. We're going to claim a lot of territory a in a short amount of time. As soon as we can. I would love to continue pushing up this direction, but for right now, we have a bigger... We're receiving a transmission from the Destican Unity. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Rude. We are the Destican Unity, and we speak as one. The hive mind has taken note of your presence. We will observe for now. Our future actions will depend on whether you are a threat, an opportunity for expansion, or an unforeseen variable. We all have much to gain from this encounter. Okay. So they're up here. As expected. 
Okay, so, She Menace. As we begin to pick up more and more visual images of the aliens known as the She Menace, it was inevitable that these would eventually be leaked to the wider public. Their appearance has provoked widespread dismay amongst our populace, who have, been, who have taken to describing them as repulsive beasts. Already, many are demanding that we take action to deal with the new humanoid threat. So we could get Xenophobe Ethics Attraction, or the Primacy Vanguard would lose 10% approval. Hmm. And so we shall. Excellent. Okay, so they're Vulcans. Got it. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will begin our land grabs in some of these regions and continue our exploration in others. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.